Good evening, everyone. Alter Calyx here. How are you guys doing? So, we're going to try a new game today. Age of Wonders 4. I am brand new to this series. Like, I have not played any Age of Wonders anything. Mm, I really... The closest thing, I guess, I played would be recently I played Spellforce Conquest of EO. Completely loved that game. So I'm hoping this gives like same vibes. Like, I don't know. <clears throat> I've heard some people say Spellforce Conquest of EO isn't a true 4X game. I don't know, because that's the only kind of 4X-ish game I played. Um, so yeah. We're going to see what happens here. Like I said, I don't know anything about the lore. I hope I know kind of how to play. We'll find out. We'll find out. Uh, let's click play and um, let's see what happens. What happens. No idea. <clears throat> Realm Studios. Also, I'm still recovering from the stupid lingering cold. We'll see. Hopefully, hopefully we get a good amount of streaming. What is this? Portal? This looks like a, a portal. Power older than time has returned. Free from their imprisonment, ancient wizard kings. Come she looks cool. Seeking lost magics. To conquer, turning all whom they encounter by choice or by force. By force. Through strife, champions arise. New unities are founded. Hmm, they panned in on that. It must be important. And powerful. What is this girl? I want to be this girl. As gods and mortals clash, the forces unleashed. It's like Dalaran, right? Age of wonders. A new age of wonders. Mm, everything's brand new to me. All right. Since we're starting out. What is quick start? I don't know. I want the full experience. Is this music too loud? I can't tell. Actually, I'm gonna lower it a little bit. Fifty, even. Come on, move it. There we go. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's try a new game. Your destination. Choose your destination. Okay. Beginner scenario. Rise of Godir. Um, like, I don't know what any of this means. Uh, create a realm of your own creation. Um, let's just pick a... I don't want to go too crazy right now, but... Does this mean like story mode? I don't want story mode. Even though this is my first time, I kind of want, like I said, the full experience. Um, like, I don't know what any of that means. Ancient ruins, crystalline abundance, uninhabitable underground. Uh, okay, as a, let me try reading it. How's that? As an ascended champion, build up a new home for your wandering tribe in the mythical Valley of Wonders on Athla. Prepare yourself for the clash with the returning wiz king wizard kings of old and rise in power to claim a greater destiny. But what does this mean? So this one, harmonious lands. Can I... There are ruins of ancient elven court to be found on this realm. They can be rebuilt to found new cities. I feel like elven... Former elven ruins can be kind of powerful, right? I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud here. Mana crystals grow more easily on this realm, making them unusually abundant. I mean, that can only be good things, right? Well, I see red here. This realm has unusually small, unwelcoming caverns. The underground is smaller, 
No throne city can be placed underground. That I don't even know what that means. Mutually exclusive with massive underground, small underground. <clears throat> okay. Uh, what is this one? A realm of lush green, uncorrupted and idyllic, shielded from evil. Let's be honest. I don't know about this lore or anything, but in all games, I tend to pick like Necromancer, Lich, uh, something with minions, right? Summoning power. Uh, if they don't have Necromancer, I think in Pathfinder, Kingmaker, I picked a summoner. As long as I can have some, my minions, I'm happy. I'm happy, right? So, and usually that falls under evil realm. So, I don't know. Some people pin me as evil, but I don't know. I'm still gonna say I'm not really evil. Um, <clears throat> a realm full of lush green, uncorrupted, and okay, yeah, disdain for evil. The people on this realm despise evil and will fight to prevent it from taking root. All empires gain grievances against empires with evil alignment. Huh. Is it possible? I know in normal, like, I, I, I don't know. I never played D&D, but I feel like in normal D&D games, like I play Baldur's Gate and stuff, um, if you want to be like summoning undead, you're automatically evil, right? So does this mean like, they're gonna, it's extra hard if I take that, if I take that alignment. We'll see. Sir Conan, how's it going? Going good, how are you? Recovering still from this lingering cold, so throat's a little, throat's gonna be a little bit scratchy and I'm gonna be like chain sucking on cough drops. I have honey with tea, I got water, I'm prepared. We'll see how long I can last. I see what you were playing. Hope you manifest. Thank you. Yes. We'll see how Age of Wonders 4 goes. I'm trying to even just learn what all this means. I'm, it wants me to pick a realm. Like, this should be so easy, but I don't know. Interesting. They let you choose. Right? I feel like this is, like, too hard for me already. <laughs> Endless. Like, too many options. This is my first time playing. I don't even know anything. Um... But I do know, I do know I don't want story mode. If there's a mode that tells me, that lets me play as the developers envision the gameplay, that's what I want, whatever mode that is. Extra difficulty is what it is. Greenshire looks like a low difficulty map. Greenshire. Mm, I mean, tier, yes. Cause it says like tier one, tier two, but now I know you played Age of Wonders previously, right? All I don't know how many you might have played all of them, right? Is this something that's from those games, like this tier one, tier two stuff? Because I don't know how much more difficult tier two is compared to tier one. It's not part of it, okay? <clears throat> I mean. I'm probably not gonna pick tier three because I feel like that's the hardest, right? I don't wanna pick the hardest. Um, I definitely don't wanna pick the easiest. So I'm thinking maybe tier one or tier two. A realm that long ago lost most of its water plagued by sandstorms yet blessed with plentiful mana retaining crystals. A hard map is not a bad thing. <clears throat> Sir Conus, I don't even know what this game is about. like just launching it was like this is like totally new territory so i feel like i don't need the hardest map right your skill your skills with spell force will transfer over i like your optimism i like it i loved spell force conquest of you so yeah i'm like i said i'm hoping for same vibes here guys <clears throat> um I know this. I knew you grew in skill. Okay, how about how about a compromise that I won't pick tier three, but I'll pick second to hardest. How's that? Once you reach it, you will do great. I know, I know reading is my weakness, guys. 
I tend to only read what I want to read type of thing. <gasps> like I only, I have like blinders on. I only like see what I want to see type of thing. <laughs> um, okay, so let's pick between these two then. The Shattered Kingdom or the Vengeful Wilds. Once the opulent kingdom known as Vossen dominated this realm, now only ruins remain as three brothers squabble over its remains and the people suffer. Fallen kingdom sounds badass. Especially when I come to conquer them, right? Hey? Hey, what? This realm is dominated by enormous beasts and sprawling flora claiming any land not tamed by civilization. What does the custom tab up top look like? Let's take a look. <laughs> I guess this is for custom. Player distance. Oh, is this for multiplayer? Oh. See, this thing actually tells me difficulty level. Why doesn't uh Choose what, your destination. Why doesn't this tell me cus difficulty level? Heck yeah, I would leave it on normal too. Make a custom one, but what are all these then? The official ones look like challenge maps. All right, let's see what happens. Oh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what is this though? Player distance. Player distance from what? Like, is it talking about the map? Your starting points? You mean like the towns and stuff? You will have conflicts sooner. Oh, if you are close together, you have conflicts sooner. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I'm tempted to say far then, right? So I have plenty of time to to read, right? We can read things. <laughs> Maybe I'll do standard though. I don't know what this is. Select the number of players for this game. Is this the number of enemies? Because I don't want multiplayer. Number of AI. Oh my gosh, seven? You think seven is standard? Like that was the default. When you use a map, you can dictate if a player is human or AI. Okay, so if there's no humans, it'll just make them AI. Should I just leave it as is then? We'll see what happens. What's advanced settings? Realm traits. Sure. Oh my gosh. Okay. Chakona likes to see the struggle. Uh, those are what the other maps had. <clears throat> oh, these traits? Mm. Altered Calyxes. I'm just going to name it what it is. Sounds like worldwide traits, maybe? I don't know what any of this stuff is. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. What is this portal's visuals? Oh, I can pick what it wants to look like? Okay, we're picking like a purpley color. That one. Oh, that one's kind of cool too. I think this is fitting. Doesn't this look like tombstones? Like cemetery or something? Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> I 
Yep. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, I don't know about this. Let's go factions. Custom rulers. Rulers are generated. Rulers that are left to random will be procedurally generated instead of picking from existing rulers. Teams. Enabling teams will allow you to set a team for each player. Players in a team are in a permanent alliance with players of this. Is this for group play? Co-op? Leave that alone. <clears throat> okay, we're leaving all this alone. Random ruler AI normal will make your opponents random and normal AI. Okay, sounds good. If you find the game too hard, you can set people to lower difficulties. So these you're talking about? So you're saying just leave all these alone? Yeah, because I don't know what this does anyway. We'll just leave all this alone. Game flow. Turn timer. The turn timer determines how much time a player has. Oh, yeah, we don't want to set a timer. Sometimes I need to think. Normal. I think these are all fine, right? <clears throat> oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> um... Okay, combat. Always ask. Holding, holding. Go back to game flow. <clears throat> See the hero resurgence. Yes. Does this mean something to you? Select what happens when a hero dies during a battle while their side is still victorious. Like what happens when a hero dies. Yeah, I need a... I'm reading it, but I still need, like, explanation. It's asking you, do you want your heroes to come back from death if you win? Yes, I do. If I win, I win. I want to come back, yeah. Okay. Okay, it actually it says uh, always resurrect a hero after winning. Heck yeah! If I'm gonna win, I better be alive. So yeah, that's good. <clears throat> it's a little more forgiving. I'm gonna need that, I feel. Smash has already tried playing this and he's already had to restart. So I feel like I'm gonna have to restart. But I'm okay. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. And will prevent you from losing heroes so easily. Yeah. It's my first go. So we're all, you know. I say those settings on combat are okay. Okay, good. Because I don't know what else to do with these. I don't know if I should fiddle around with this stuff. Let me see what the options are. Oh. The realm traits? Yeah, I feel like this is so, um... It's kind of like information overload though, right? Hey, it's like quills, welcome. You can add things to your map. Things. Where does he get those wonderful toys? If you do not know them, no point in adding things. Right? Maybe this is for like after I've played a little bit. Yes, exactly. Press for later playthroughs. So I even know what this means, like and how it affects me and stuff. Uh, let's see. There's a lot to love for those familiar, but yeah. But if you click on the yellow thing, continents. So what is this one? What shape is this? What land masses can you choose from? This dictates how your map is built. Like I said, I probably want like Nothing too complicated. I feel like lava lakes, There's that would mean like a lot of maneuvering around things and stuff. Generally speaking, ocean combat is always an AI weakness. Is that right? The islands would be easier for the human, harder for the AI. Interesting. Large landmasses favor the AI. 
So if we want that to be a good challenge, then we just want land. Divide. A land dominated realm divided in two by an ocean. This realm consists of two massive land masses separated by an ocean. I think there's a tutorial stage and you can choose a pre build faction. Hey, Slay Sl Sl Quills, is that the. Like, this is the customized one, but even going with the preset one, I felt like I don't even know what the hell was going on. Continents would be okay. Yeah, Serconus opted for customization, a very basic one, yeah. I like this customization one because it actually tells me the difficulty, right? It said like, normal, hard, brutal, whereas in the preset one, it didn't say what the difficulty was. I feel like I was supposed to infer what the difficulty was based on everything that was there, but all that stuff meant nothing to me, so I couldn't tell how hard it was. Higher difficulties make them cheat with units resources. We don't like cheaters. Let's see what this is. Dragon territories? Linger oh, oops. Megafauna? Magic Origins? I don't even know what I what did I pick? Immortal Spirits? This realm features less civilization than others. Hmm. I feel like that means it's going to be harder, right? If there's less civilization. Rampant undead? Wait, hold on. I got to read this. The undead plague this realm. Undead units are common. An undead unit with frost resistance, blight resistance. But I want to be undead, so I probably want them to... I don't want... I don't want to fight against undead. Let's just keep it basic, guys. Pretender kings? The kingdom that once dominated this realm has fallen and three successors lay claim to the throne of this once prosperous kingdom. God help you if you don't kill undead units well. Exactly, yeah. I'm gonna make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna I'm gonna be the undead. And I'm gonna go against humans. The good old struggle. Let's just go with this. I'm fine with this. Gender King sounds like a special win condition. If you wanna change it up. Here, you have the unique ability to create your empire. Okay. Destined humans. First elves, bloodfang orcs. Is there like dark elves? I probably would like. Ooh, Shadowborn elves. What is this? Tome of Eucasia, Shadowborn elves. They're dark. Shadowwalker, Scions of Evil. See, I told you. Anything like that is going to be evil, right? Um, Starting equipment, Frost Orb, and a horse. I click on this. Just want to see. Oh, they looking kind of good. You can click to edit, change things about it though. You can. Can you scroll down more? Yes, I can. Deep dwellers, gnarled frostlings. What do these look like? Oh, I kind of like how she looks. Who are you? They're barbarian? Human barbarian? Hmm. They look kind of cool. Cursed toadlings? <gasps> What's this? Wizard king? Race cruel deathbringers? They're human. They're dark. So they have fast recuperation. They're cold-blooded. Those have to be the undead, right? Like, look at them. <clears throat> C 
Cities can negate city stability income penalties. Unique cities. Minus 10 alignment? Or undead lovers or summoners? I feel like, I feel like you're trying to tell me something. <laughs> Um, I mean, I feel like this is my call. What are you trying to say? They definitely sound evil. What are you trying to say? I thought we went through this, right? Just because I summon some undead doesn't necessarily make me evil, right? What is Tome of Warding? Let's check it out. Specialized in magic that protects your units from damage and retaliates against enemies that attack you. Plus two to Astral Affinity, Bolstering Support, Research Magic Ward, Summon, Phantasm Warrior, Mark of Invulnerability, Static Shield, Staves of Warning. Those Hi, Mac Mac. Hi, baby. You want to come in my lap? Those who master the arcane are as, soothing, are as a soothing breeze upon their allies, cushioning them in a protective blanket of air, buffeting away blows and harnessing the, hi the lightning to smite a master of warding. Um, okay. Interesting. Is it an item? Um, I don't know. Yeah, Tome, I would think book also. Um, I don't know. See the starting equipment at the bottom. He comes with a horse and an orb. I like horse. Magic bolts. Is this like magic missile? That's his weapon. Okay. I want to see what this other person was. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not for selves. It was somebody else. Oh, Shadowborn Elves. The Frost. Yeah, I want to see that too, but I want to see this one also. This one comes with Tome of Evocation. Summon Lesser Storm Spirit, Lightning Blaze, Fulmination, Lightning Torrent, Evoker. Uh, I feel like this is still more magic, right? Not summoning. I mean, it says summon Lesser Storm Spirit, but I don't know. So each faction has their own Tome. Let me see what this frostling was. Tome of Cryomancy. And each tome confers some stats and specific spells. Frostblades, White Witch. I mean, this sounds really cool too, right? I don't know, I kind of like how she looks is why I feel. <clears throat> I want to see this one again though. So they can only summon Phantasm Warrior? Like, I need something more than that. What's under the name? You mean this stuff here? I see a 222. Two, two. And some orbs. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. I can't tell. Maybe this? Looks like that blue thing is Astral Affinity. I don't know what purple is though. Let's see if I... Are those in skills? What little I know about this game, you have tomes. <clears throat> but what are these blue... So this one looks like... Yeah, I see that. Plus two to Astral Affinity. So this is Astral Affinity. Oh, so... Let's see. Let me click on something else. What they have. What is this? Tome of Faith. Order Affinity. Why can't we see what the other stuff is? I see what the blue orb is. But I don't see any of the other. The red one and purple one.
think those affinities are probably the tomes they do well with maybe the magic skills in a given area i mean i feel like it but i'm kind of i mean i guess it doesn't matter right like because i don't know what this is all i'm not oh this girl looks like sylvanas back here As, you as your empire grows, you acquire new tomes of magic, allowing you to evolve your people into the direction you want, be it angelic beings, undead, or other transcendent forms. Okay, yeah, we're going to go for undead. Alright, we're going to pick this one. I feel like it matches the best with uh, what I usually go with. And kind of customize the spells you have access to. All right, so we're gonna do this. Oh, I can. Do I even want to bother with editing? Steps, you will create your people, followed by your ruler. Oh, I feel like I don't need to edit. Wait, do I have to edit? <clears throat> journey. Edit lets you make a custom race. Oh, yeah. I think I just want to be this. Let's just keep it simple. Let's do this. I usually pick Undead. I played Forsaken in WoW. Played Necromancer. Played Lich in Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, Spellforce Conquest of Eo, we played Necromancer. This is where I'm probably going to feel most comfortable. In Path of Exile, I play a Witch Summoner. She summons Raging Spirits. I think that is a good idea, right? Let's go with what I know. And what I like. <clears throat> We're gonna have to do something about this this dude's hair, though. I'm okay with the purple. I think that's kind of cool. The wrappings, but he's got to work on his hair. Let's put some spikes or something. Is that customizable? Can I customize how they look? Or let's get a cowl on top of him like this girl does. Like, what is this? You should be able to. <laughs> I was kind of joking, but that'd be cool. <laughs> <clears throat> We're starting. We're starting, guys. Age of Wonders have always let you customize ruler appearance. Okay, what? A new ruler emerges. I think that's me. Explore your surroundings and expand your domain. Prepare to face your rivals and become the master of this realm. Your choices will shape the new Age of Wonders, Tome of Warding, Cruel Deathbringers. Um, okay, so we saw all this. What's this? What's this ritual cannibalism? Units gain the corpse eating ability. That seems standard, right? <clears throat> Minus 10 on alignment. The near city owned gains plus 3 mana and plus 3 food per tier of non-magic origin units killed or lost after successful combat. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna make sure you make a save. Oh, good idea. Starting magic. Um, I can only pick one, I'm guessing, right? Uh, so it does some damage and it slows them? Or become invulnerable for one turn? That sounds pretty good. Has their negative statuses removed? That sounds good. It cannot be used on a unit more than- What?! Can't be used more than once for battle on a unit more than once. Um, maybe this. I feel like there's no restriction on like only use it once. I guess it's whether I want to be offensive or defensive, right? Let's, um, I'm usually a defensive player, but yeah, right? AoE ice spell sounds nice. Wait, target enemy unit and one other unit within two hexes. I had to read it again because you said AoE. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, two units. That's still, yeah, it's still better than just, yeah. We're going with this. Oh, I can't pick. This is just what they're giving me. Okay, I thought I had to make a choice. I'm like clicking over here. But what does this one and two mean, I wonder? Oh, skill level two. Okay. Yeah, I got, I know, right? Uh, 
I know, right? Yes. Uh, allow me to lend some aid. Oh, Arch Lich. Oh my gosh, they're, they're referring me to an Arch Lich already. This is so great. During play messages, during play messages like this will provide advice on how to achieve victory on this realm. Okay, some of these will trigger objectives for your growing empire. Click on the question mark button on the bottom right to open additional advice. If you want to reread any advice, you can open the advice history in the same menu by pressing the check mark button. You can disable and reset these messages in the settings. Okay. Take some time to look around and familiarize yourself with your new surroundings. To move the camera around, use WASD, ASD, of course, or hold the left mouse and drag. Okay. I zoom out. Oh. Okay. Hmm. This map doesn't look as <coughs> big as the spell force one. Priovec, is this the city? Uh Okay, hold on. I want to look at everything on the UI because I don't know what this means. Uh so plus 91, that's pretty good. Last time I was always monastar, so what is this one? World map casting points are used to cast spells on the world map. Okay. I think these maps are random generated each time. Where Spellforce was a single map that never changed. Correct. Spellforce, Conquest of Eo was just one big map. The landmarks did not change from what I was heard. I never did a second playthrough. I mean, I started one, but I never finished it. So what is this? Knowledge. Used for acquiring cities and speeding up empire development and negotiations. With spring stones. The number of cities you can control without suffering economic penalties. So what it's telling me is I need two more cities. That's all I'm seeing right here. Uh, to rotate the camera, hold down the middle mouse button. Okay. Oh, it wants me to do it. Oh, okay. Press R to reset the rotation. Okay. You can take <clears throat> a closer look at the land by zooming in, or get a better overview of the world by zooming out. Zoom out far oh, enough to reach the overview. I see some loot here, guys. You know what I'm gonna be going for. Okay, okay, okay. You've reached the overview map. As you explore the world, you will have many threats and opportunities to consider. Use this to inform your strategies. Okay, so let's do that. The production. I don't know you what this means. One of your cities. Cities are central to your economy. And allow you to build more units for your armies. Food, draft, and production are resources used to develop your cities. Every turn, production is spent on the first structure in the city's production queue. Leftover production becomes surplus. Gain production by annexing iron deposits. Building foresters and quarries and provinces, building certain city structures, collecting pickups. <clears throat> Shrine. Workshop is production to build things quicker. Are you just saying this from previous knowledge? Plus 10 to draft income. <coughs> What's draft income? Okay, recruiting. Stored house. Food income. I didn't have to deal with food income in Spellforce. <clears throat> You're certain you are correct. Trying. Okay, mana. This must be like research in Spellforce, I'm guessing. I guess like in Spellforce, there was only three. This has a lot more maybe. It has food. Like it has all of these, right? I would do workshop to build other things quicker or <clears throat> I 
dun, dun, dun. storehouse to grow a bigger city. Do undead need food though? I feel like we don't need food. What is this for? Locations and province improvements located in a city's domain will provide you with income. Structures can be built to improve your city. Select a hammer button located on the right side of the city panel and choose a structure to build. Okay, I did that. Suggestion. Build a storehouse or workshop. Oh my gosh. Is that not what you said? Yes, exactly. Sirconis, you... I feel like you know what you're doing. Um... Let's do storehouse. Systems <clears throat> also recruit your units. Units cost upkeep every turn. So keep an eye on your income to ensure you can pay for your units. Thing. Select the helmet button located under the production queue and choose a unit to recruit. Helmet button. What look like this? Thing. Do you see the stats on the left hand side? These? I think it's showing you all your incomes. What is this then versus this? Like, why is this 120 and then this is 240? Oh, okay. 120 is from the city. Okay. Let's see there. 120. Okay. <clears throat> you have 240 in your hands. Okay, and this is just the 120 just from the one city. Gotcha. Where's this helmet button that they're talking about? Located under the production queue. Where's production queue? Game looks like you can build and make a unit at the same time. It's on the left. Is this the no that's Oh this thing? Okay, okay. So select this located and choose a unit to recruit. Okay. Uh cities also <clears throat> sorry, uh preparing to scout recruit. Okay. They're not giving me a suggestion here, a recommendation. Um, recruit a scout unit. The green head with one, a one and three looks like it may be your city grows one population in three turns. This? Three turns. Zero of 108 until next population increase. Recruit only if you want to do so <clears throat> i'm just following their objectives let's see uh recruit a scout unit i feel like usually these things are scout units right oh outrider scout unit shock unit range unit did it ha did it work I think so, right? Because this went down. Oh, it's in here. Okay. Okay, I see what's happening. The hammer, this is the... Okay. I see what's happening. Yes, I see. This is the cue. Yes, I see it. This It's going to take three turns for me to get him. Seven turns for the storehouse to be built, I'm guessing. Okay. All right, guys. So things are starting to click here. Okay, I was just clicking things before, but... Okay, I actually see what's happening here. Um... <laughs> yes we're getting it we're understanding a little bit here <clears throat> oh no there's no more advice what am i doing um okay let's get out of here what's this 
assigned governor. Did you see the hurry recruitment? No. We're under here. You have a hurry recruitment button on that screen where you can spend gold. Um, I saw this. Hastily finished recruiting. Okay, yeah, let's not worry about that. Oh, hey, we can probably see what this is now. Empire Chaos Affinity. Cosmic power of change and destruction associated with conquest, strife, and demonic forces. Chaos Affinity is opposed to order affinity, empires, or free cities with opposing affinities will suffer relation penalties. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not rich right now. 120. Maybe a couple more zeros. <clears throat> Empire Shadow relates to the realm of death, decay, and ice, as well as deception and instilling and exploiting weakness. Shadows of phony op Shadow Affinity is opposed by nature affinity. Empires or free cities with opposing affinities will suffer relation penalties. Okay. Um <clears throat> What is this? Set arcane research. What does that arcane mean? Research enables you to learn new spells and acquire new units. The culture and tome you have chosen for your faction determine the initial skills you can unlock through arcane research. Hmm. Okay. I would say those affinities will dictate what tomes you should try and use. So basically, I want to increase those numbers, right? <clears throat> what is this? Home library should show you all spell in in a tome. Choose a skill. What is this one? I mean, resistances are always good, right? Home library should show you all spells in Tome and Shuffle would allow you to randomly pick different choices if you don't like any of the three. <clears throat> oh, you're just talking about this down here. I'm not doing Shuffle because we like to keep all our mana. So if I click this. Uh... I move this? Oh. Mm, but <clears throat> excuse me. Pyromancy? <clears throat> that sounds like fun times also. So you can check spells within a given tome. Oh. <clears throat> okay, what was mine called? Tome of something. You could find the tome in the list which you are currently using. I don't remember what my tome was called. Yeah. I'm trying to see. <clears throat> Maybe this will tell me. Whoa, well, what's this? Mm. What is this? Active cells are probably going to list your overland spells that have upkeep. Tactical is in combat spells. You have selected an army. Armies are the core of your military strength. They can explore the world, attack your foes and defend your lands wait i didn't pick my arcane thing how do i go back hold on here okay i feel like i, di I didn't want to jump ahead here 
<clears throat> oh, is this my tone? No. Home of evocation. I don't think I was evocation though. Tome of the Reaper, that sounds something I would do. Tome of Souls. I mean, this is probably where I'm gonna go also. The boost buttons up top left probably take you into all important screens. You will know them all soon enough. I'm sure bottom left corner has some text link. Oh, when this is closed, okay. You know what? <clears throat> Let's just pick one of these and see what happens. Because I, once I choose a skill, I think it's going to give me another advice. Um, a shield unit that strikes with lightning damage. I mean, usually in games, summoning things is kind of OP, right? Next tome thing, four research cycles. What is this? I get another tome in four research cycles? Interesting. I wonder if it's a max, because you can't have all of them, I'm sure, right? Probably specialize. And you know me too, right, Sir Conan? I love my summoning skills too. I think I'm going to go with this. But I just want to see what this is. Vision? We don't care about vision right now. Resistances are pretty good, but... Uh, we're gonna go with this. Okay. Choose a skill. I choose, chose it. Your empire will research the skill Wait. over time. Using I clicked it three power. times. Does I thought because it wasn't showing something. Does that you will choose between three yeah, I don't new know. skills? Your empire will research skills over time using your knowledge income. Once the research is completed, you will choose between three new skills. Like, yeah, I clicked it three times. Does that mean... Uh, like, maybe I should have spread it out? Oh, no, it's just a one-time thing. Okay. We're gonna go with this. Okay, okay. I see what's happening. It's kind of like in Spellforce. You click on what you want to research type of thing. Yeah, if I just click it again, it just automatically... I can overwrite it, though, it looks like. So if I want this, it just goes up to here. So, yeah. We're gonna... Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna go with this one. See, I'm clicking it multiple times, so I thought I was clicking, like, how many I can get or something. But I think it's... There's a delay or something. All right. Let's move along. Does this mean anything? No. Diplomatic overview. This is me. What is all this? Overall ranking? Military ranking? Oh, is it like a leaderboard? I think this is kind of funny. I know, I'm researching one spell and it puts me at second. Oh my gosh, I'm last in economy, guys. Okay, that's enough of that one. Busts. Okay. I guess I'm just not gonna worry about that. We'll just, it'll happen organically. <clears throat> yeah, they look like yeah, victory conditions. So this one, we only need five of seven. No, my ranking, magic ranking is five of seven. Well, we're not going to worry about win conditions quite yet. Let's just kind of get through this. 
Oh, can I customize him? You have selected a hero. Heroes lead your armies around the world. Only they have the authority to explore ancient wonders, construct outposts, or start a siege. Aha! A just appearance! Okay, first of all, let me get into a... F oh, I thought this was gonna automatically, uh... Where's the gender or whatever? I'm stuck looking like this? Wait, what? Hold on here. No. I kind of look like I like the dark elf kind of look. <clears throat> Definitely not that. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm thinking. We're going to look like this. Yeah, I have she, her, but it's not making this into a female. Maybe body type? Oh, here we go. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, she looks kind of... I was going to say cute, but I don't know if that's the appropriate... Uh... <gasps> Scripture description. Um no. <clears throat> no, definitely not. So this one must be human. This one. I kinda like the elvish looking ears. Yeah. Um physique. Let's start from the beginning here. Gosh, just, am I ever going to get to the game? Like, I'm just having fun customizing. Did it change anything? What the heck is it changing? Oh, she's getting wider. I like the idea of a frail looking uh, being that's going to be super powerful. Kind of like an oxymoron. I am having fun. And you keep having it, right? I know. Okay. Sometimes I feel pressured because it's like, oh my gosh, get on with the game. But I like all this stuff, so. Yeah, we're gonna. Oh my gosh, arm length? This is a factor? Looks like you can change her hair and stuff down below. Come on out, it's your new game. You get to do what you want. I like it. I like you for saying that. Um. Okay, we don't want her to have like those long arms. And we probably don't want her with two short arms. Let's get a good, uh. Maybe like this. That looks like normal, right? It doesn't look too short or anything. Leg length? Oh my gosh. Do you think they're going a little bit too out of control with these customizations? I think her leg length is fine. Oh my gosh. Skin color? All right, let's go all the way over here. No. Too much color. We need like a sickly color. Probably was blue. Red? No, not red for sure. Not purple either. I kind of like the original one, which I don't know what it was. But like it was like this kind of color, right? <clears throat> Skin decoration. Can I zoom in? Can't zoom in, it looks like. What's skin decoration? Oh. I wish I could zoom in. There's no zoom in, right? Anywhere? You may be able to when you go down to head stuff. Oh, okay. Mouse wheel doesn't work, I take it? Nope, it doesn't. <clears throat> I 
Well, I don't know. Sometimes I like to get a scar that goes like across my eye. Like that looks pretty savage, but I don't think I saw one. Of course, I can't zoom in, so I can't tell. Like that just looks like I was raked across the face. I want like a scar over my eye. Kind of like this one, just because it looks like I seen some shit, right? Got dark, sunken, sunken eyes. I don't know. I feel like she looks too deathly, though. What's this pose? I feel like this is kind of funny. Oh, this one looks like she might be like, she could be channeling, but I don't know. Let's see. We got some more poses. Arms behind the back? No. Looks like a ghoul or something on this one. No. Um, I don't know if she needs to be standing like that. I kind of like this one because it kind of makes it look like she's like, I don't care. I'm just gonna, just gonna kill you. You're dead. I don't know. This is looking like a winner. Pompous asshole pose. <laughs> oh, look at this one. Right? <clears throat> I kind of like this one. She's like, I don't care. Think what you want. You're going to die anyway. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I like that. Okay. Um, all right. Head. <gasps> oh, yeah. We don't want this mask. I can't tell the difference between this. Can I zoom in now? No. When can I zoom in? Like, what does this look like? Okay, this one, between this one and this one. I kind of like this one. The eyebrows look like they're going more down. Watch the ears. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay. So this one, point to your ears. Okay, so number two is a winner so far. I don't want tipped ears. This, I don't know. Tipped ears to me sounds like confidence issue there. Is this just longer ears? Okay, yep. I think those are too pointy. Uh. Hold on. Is this the female one? Because her face is not looking like... Well, maybe I can change it. <clears throat> I don't know. This one kind of looks bat-ish for some reason to me. Uh, okay, let's go back to the second one because I think I like the second one. I think second is fine. Right? Yeah, me too. Good. I'm, I'm glad we're on the same wavelength here. Hair color top. Let's go white hair. Why does that look gray? Should I go red? Should I go red to match my hair? This is the wrong red though. This looks like a hair color bottom. What's bottom? I'm gonna pick a weird color just to see the. Di oh, this here. I guess. I wanted like a phoenix look. Got white. Outfit is blocking that hairstyle. Yeah, is there a way to. Yeah, we can't. Try different outfits. <clears throat> I 
Maybe they don't have an orange. Okay, yeah. Let's try an out different outfit. What is the robe? Yeah, that's true. That cape. I don't like her with red hair. Uh... Too bad they don't got purple. I guess it's the closest to purple I can get. Purple and then how about red tipped? What if I flip it? Oh, this might be something. Um, all right, let's go into outfits. So this is a robe. Looks like mommy. Okay, she might be a little bit too frail. She looking. Look at this. <clears throat> let's put some meat on her. Maybe I want her taller. Is that what this is for? Okay, she's looking a little bit better now. Um, outfit. Not bad. Toga? Nah. This is looking like something. What is this one? Well, I can't. It's just fine. We'll know. What is this one? Hold on here. Yeah, I don't like her bare arms. I feel like that seems very vulnerable. This is not what my girl's gonna look like. I feel like that cape goes with nothing at the moment, right? We'll get to the cape. Yeah. Okay, her arms are looking a little too buff. I feel like she looks a little bit malnourished here. We'll go one. No cape in that outfit. <laughs> no cape? We're gonna need a cape, I'm pretty sure. Let's go down to here. Oh, but we can see her hair now. Man, I wish I could zoom in. Um... Okay, let's try to flip this. Purple hair with red tip. Oh, I wish the purple was a little bit more purpley. I like the other way around better. Alright. So, this outfit is not bad, but... I don't know. I feel like one grazing, she's gonna have a scar and stuff. Oh, uh, let's see what else we got here. No. For some reason, I do kind of like the wrappings. Like, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what we have a couple more options. Oh, hello. I don't know. This might be a winner, guys. Okay. Oh, this one looks really nice, too. I don't know. This looks more like a tribal or savage or something. And sh I feel like my girl's not going to be that. I kind of like this too. Right? This one? I agree. Like, gonna be summoning undead. Like, come on. <clears throat> and she's got some nice boots. Alright, let's see with these helmets. So this is no helmet. Oh! This is 
kind of cool. Uh, let's see what else we got. Not this one. Compared to this one to this one? Yeah, I like this one right now. This is a... Then all that effort I put into the hair is gone, but that's fine. She's gonna turn some heads with this look. <clears throat> wow, these helmets are kind of cool. Uh, yeah, not this one, though. It's cool, but not for me. Just a headband, it looks like. A crown, tiara. Crown is cool too, but I don't know. That second one is was a winner, I think. Oh, I missed over missed over on the hair hairstyles. Oh, I know why. We came down here because we wanted to see if the cape would go away and we can see the hair. So, oh, this is cool too. But I don't like how the ears are clipped like this. We have to see what hairstyles before you do crowns. That's true. That's true. I need to see all options. Oh gosh, no, not this. Come on, guys. Maybe? Not. No. The gimp. No, not this either. This would be good, I think, for like a blind justice person. And I am not going to be that, so... This looks pretty intimidating too, but I kind of like the second one still. Alright, but before we do that, we're going to go with no <clears throat> helmet because we want to check out the different hairstyles. Baldy? Uh, <gasps> I kind of like this. This one's alright. I probably like that one better than... Oh, wait, hold on. I like this one. Second one over the third one. Oh, this is too boring. This is the default. Which is not bad either. Nope. That looks like Grecian. <laughs> she just looks like she's wild. Okay, so it's either going to be... Second. Or default. Skipped her eye color. Yeah, I skipped that one too. What do you think though? Second, the second one or the default one? Maybe the default. It's not bad. Yeah, both have merits. I'm gonna go with this. I'm, it might not even make a difference because I might pick that helmet that I thought was really wicked. Um, all right, eye color. Let's see what we got here. I wish I could zoom in. I mean, this looks kind of cool. It's either... Right? These are undead eyes, right? I agree. I agree. This is looking good. But let's see. What, there's a couple more options. Let's let's go through them all. But this one's probably the winner. Yeah, it's either... Yeah, since we already have red hair, I think we go with this. Yeah. Yeah, the blue is nice. Yeah. Okay, let me see if I can see the head better without... I don't know. I wish I could zoom in. I'm gonna keep complaining about that, I know. Oh my gosh, no. I want one that looks mad. 
I guess like this one, but let me see. <clears throat> oh, face is too small. Either this one, does she look? Oh, her ears were too big on this one. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Okay. Um, eye color, hairstyle. Or should I go white <clears throat> with the purple? <clears throat> Blue? What does white and red bottom look like? White and red bottom. Yeah, because I think it like matches too much with her skin. Let me see the reverse. Yeah, I think the white just blends too much with the skin. <clears throat> I think I like the dark blue. Can we do something with the dark blue? How about like this? Or can we flip it? Yeah, I think we're gonna go with blue. Some kind of blue. <clears throat> Light blue with dark blue bottom is a good contrast. Definitely something with the blue. Either this one or the vice versa. This looks good too. And it kind of goes with the eyes too. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Alright, now let's get back to here. What's this armor color? Oh. Wait. What is this? Just white trim? I mean, the dark red looks kind of nice. Oh, that's true. Just this particular outfit. I don't know. I think the blue, this matches too much with her eyes. I almost like, let me see. Maybe this even. How about if I flip it? Dark blue. Oh, this is pretty too, I think. I'm kind of feeling this. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stick with this. Um, <clears throat> do I want gold trim? Leads the undead has to still look pretty. Exactly. I need to instill like confidence in them, right? And show them like, look, with a little effort, guys, you too can look like this. All right, let's put, um, I want to put a contrasting trim just to see what on the other outfits it looks like. Let's pick a... I think gold would look, would contrast the most, I guess. <clears throat> she doesn't need to look like a mummy. Nope, not that one. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Nope. We gotta show a little bit of skin, right? I don't know. This is still my favorite. Yeah, the skull one. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking the red trim is gonna look nice. Right? It was. It was. I agree, Sircona. This is by far the best looking one, for sure. That was exactly my thought, too. Red is nice like blood. This is too boring. The white and <coughs> gray doesn't contrast enough. So, I mean, I think... Like, if I'm going to get a trim, it might as well be noticeable. So it's going to be either that gold or the red. And... I'm liking the red. Oh yeah, that's right. We got a cape. Forgot all about that. Oh, but the helmet. 
Oh man, this helmet is so freaking awesome. Oh my gosh. Yes, I thought so too. Let me see the different colors. The black looked really nice, I'm not gonna lie. Well, if I go with this helmet, I think I do want the black. Because, yeah. But then her dress looks so plain. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. I don't know, this is a good pick for the dress. But let's look at capes. Let's look at capes. <clears throat> yeah, I agree. All right. Kinda like this. Nope. Oh, this is nice too. Hold on, let me compare this one with this one. I'm getting like Morgan vibes from uh what is that game? Dragon something. <clears throat> With the colored feathers, the red colored feathers. Does gold make the helmet feathers go gold? I believe so. No, not this. I do like the red, but I'm just gonna keep it on gold for the contrast. I just wanna see. Nope, these big shoulders need to go. Nope. This is not a cape, this is just pauldrons. <coughs> this is boring. Oh, I kind of like this flame tipped or something, but we're going to go with a little bit flamboyant. It's going to be either. I kind of like the, f the feathers. <clears throat> it's seriously giving me. I got to look it up. What's that? Babe, do you know what that game is with Morgan? Dragon Age Origins. Yes, that's I knew he would know. <clears throat> the feathers are cool, but the color ones are better than second one. I think so. Because you're probably thinking because there's more color. The red looks really nice. Okay, but this is all if I'm keeping this helmet. Is there clipping going on? This one because it kind of has like a tint of like purple here also on the very top of the shoulders. I don't know if that's just a different hue of the black. Yeah, it's very faint, right? I don't know, I feel like she looks more imposing with the helmet though, right? Like... <clears throat> hey Delanian! It's <clears throat> the hair dye washing out. <sighs> yeah, I got on the feathers. <laughs> How you doing tonight? The helm is just war ready, right? Like, she looks like she just yeah, she's gonna conquer the world with this look, for real. Another wonderful day in paradise. Is that a song? I feel like it's a song. The floaty bits are cool too, right? Like, this is it. Oh, let's see how it looks like in black though. 
The helmet in black looked really cool too. Unfortunately though, I do like the trim in red on her dress, so we would have to have a red red helmet. She looks like Maleficent. Except cooler, right? If this game is like others, you won't be using that horse for long. There will be cooler mounts. I'm not even I'm not even concerned with the horse. We're just going with uh we're putting on a fashion show here. I don't know. I'm thinking this cape though, the feathery cape, but let's see. One more one more walkthrough with the capes here. Mm. No pauldron, pauldrony looking ones. What about this one with the red helm and then red tipped cape? It's just that it looks kind of boring. But I don't know. That looks kind of cool too. It's either that one or this one. <clears throat> All right. What about, what do you guys think? Yeah, the feathers are like, look at my cape. I want them to be like, look at my helm. Cape one or cape two. Prefer the feathers, it goes with the outfit. If only I could zoom in. Yeah, this is too boring. This is too boring. The, the bottom part looks nice, but it's too boring up top here. Yes, this is exactly what I'm saying. Shakonis, you get me. Yes, that's what I want. That's exactly what I want. Give me some like red tipped feathers here or something. Watch a DLC come out with more custom stuff, right? <gasps> I'll get it. Okay, she's looking pretty good. She's looking pretty good. Um, we're gonna name ourselves Alder Gaelic, though. Alder Gaelic, the Risen. Find someone who has it and kill them and take it. I like how you think, Delanian. That'll be that'll be my uh, war campaign. Find someone with the best cape and then conquer them. Is the Risen good enough? Make sure you hit the right button. Not randomize. <laughs> um, okay, so this is looking good, right? <coughs> I think she's looking good. Your cursor was near the reset. I was like, death button. Oh gosh, that, I would have cried. I would have cried if I would have had to redo this whole thing. Okay, we're going to accept the changes. Oh my gosh, she looks so good. I would follow her. Let's accept it. Yeah. <gasps> she looks even better. Save your game. Yes, how do I save? We got to save this. New save. Can I... Can I... I can't uh, name it though. Okay, that's fine. Oh, just duh, right here. Um, looking good. I know. I'm like, I can't save it. I can't save it. I can't edit it. Yeah, looking good. Okay, here we go. After the Hogwarts incident, we would have cried too. What happened in Hogwarts? Did we, did I overwrite something? Did I block it from memory? <gasps> um, how many times did you do that poor girl's face? Oh, that's right. <laughs> I like restarted the game so many times cause I didn't like, like I liked how she looked but when she was in the game, it looked distorted. You're completely right. Watch this look completely different when I'm actually in the game and I'll be like, no, I gotta redo this. <laughs> Guys, I think I beat the game already. I I think 
she looks really good. I think we won. <laughs> um. Hey, didn't I get? I entered a. I entered a code to get something. I thought it would be cosmetic, but I'm not seeing it. I'm not sure what it was even. My horse is only worth 14 gold. Uh, yeah, we're keeping that. Um, okay, anything else we gotta do here? <clears throat> what is this? Hero skills? Can't do anything. Level five is when I get my first one, I guess. Um... I thought I said Helmet of Godir I was gonna get. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about this. I think we're done. <clears throat> Look how good she looks! Oh my gosh. We did a good job. We did a really good job here. What is this? End turn. My this spells. This is your spell list. You can cast various spells from here to bolster your units and cities, or to smite your enemies. Hmm. I feel like smite is the wrong word for me. I'm gonna be like. Unleashing devastation on them. I'm gonna rain. Would I rain on them? I don't know, something bad, okay, guys? <clears throat> okay, I was looking at other stuff here, right? Magic materials. I don't know what any of this means. I suppose I'll find out once I start actually playing the game. Man, she looks so good. That's all I gotta say. The butterflies below you are a nice touch. The butterflies. Oh, over here? Well. As you plot to rain the rain the pain. <gasps> okay. You have selected an army. Armies are the core of your military strength. They can explore the world, attack your foes, and defend your lands. The banners above each army shows what faction they belong to. The panel at the bottom of your screen gives more information about that army. Hey, we renamed it. This shouldn't be Necron. Wait, we renamed it, right? Alter Calyx, the Risen, yeah. Numbers in the top right corner of the unit panel is movement points. This one. 32. Okay, I don't want to move quite yet, though. How do I go back to the screen? Like, I want to see these banners. Smart to match up fast units with fast units. Careful not to put a slow unit with the fast ones. Right, because then they'll all go slow, right? Um. <clears throat> oh, okay. So this is still the army of. Are you still Necron? Oh, is Necron the race? Okay, I don't know. But I want to read the. The bottom screen says more about the. I don't understand what's happening. Hold on. I got a warlock, a ranged, and two melee. Tr 
charge strike. Gains 20% damage per hex traveled. Oh, this is like in spell force also. What is the horse unit next to you? This thing? I think this is the scout. Can I click on it? I don't- I'm kinda worried that if I click on something it's gonna actually move, but I wanna click on her. Okay, this girl. She's a scout unit. <clears throat> so it looks like she can go... That's true, I can reload. She can go 40. And then... How many can she go? Forty-eight. What is? Is this my unit or is this the enemy? I feel like this is the enemy, right? Each tile probably costs four and more for hard to traverse tiles. Wait, why is she not part of my part of my army though? <clears throat> oh, there is a slight difference. Yeah, and it's ordered in red. Um, how do I get her in my party though? I feel like she's my same faction. Oh, okay, she's supposed to just walk around. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see. An army An is made up of individual units. You can see a unit's tier, unit role, and movement points in the army pattern. <clears throat> mm, it did look like you have one more slot in your main army though, but you are making another unit. Yeah. I'm making another scout. But now I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have. I was just going by what they were suggesting. I wanna see what this is. She looks like she'd be a scout. This is kind of opposite of spell force because the undead could not heal overland, but it looks like they have fast recuperation. <clears throat> this game will have a lot of loose stuff laying around. Snatch it before your enemies do, but your scouts will die to roaming random stuff. Yeah, I don't want them dying. How do I get out of clothes? Um, should I test it out? Have my scout get this thing. Let's go get this one. I'm guessing right click. You have encountered a resource node. They provide additional yield to the province they are located in. Okay. Nodes are often occupied by marauders. To claim the node and its benefits, these guards will need to be removed first. Is that thing next to the scout unguarded? <clears throat> this stuff? I feel like, yeah, it's a gold vein. I mean, I probably want that too, right? Uh... Well, how do I claim this? Like, when I grabbed the other thing, it made, like... A sound and a visual thing, but what is this? Wait one turn. Your city is quite small right now. But the other thing was right here. Oh, that was like just loose stuff on the ground. This is a gold vein. I probably have to mine it. How do I mine this sucker? A one-time pickup. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to mine this. I don't know how to do that, though. <clears throat> oh. So they want me to battle? What is this orders require thing? Uh. I don't know. I'm gonna 
have her go get this one. Oh, she can't. Is F5 your quick save? Let's find out. If it is, I didn't see. Let's. I need to know what this is also. Mm. Of the interface, right? No. Where's the keybinds? Hmm. Maybe under key bindings. What? Quick save is control S? What are they using F5 for? You could turn on hex grid, by the way, on your face if you want to see the hexes on your map. Control plus G toggle hex grid. I'll just put it on the map. I thought I did do that, but I'll double check. Because I always like to see the the hexes also so they're not using f5 for anything right that's so oh f1 2 3 yeah why isn't f5 like universal yeah most most games f5 is quick save i'm that's what i'm used to all right so let's Okay, control G. Yeah, I like I like this. This is fine. <clears throat> F8 is quick load. Is quick load just loads the most recent save? I'm fine with this though. Same. Even on spell force, I had hexes on also. I I just need it's better for me okay this girl doesn't look like she can grab this so uh greedy dwarf and me wants to grab this before we go fight yay um what is this okay i guess let's go fight this we don't have wow Can I click on this? I can. There's spiders. They just do melee strike. You have selected a unit and opened the unit panel. This panel shows the details on a unit and what the unit is capable of, as well as any weaknesses you could exploit. One armor, zero resist. <clears throat> They seem pretty weak. Do they poison? It doesn't say that they poison, right? So, I think, wait, what is... Blight resistance. What is swift? This unit ignores the effects of terrain. Okay. That is the damage type. What? Hmm. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure being undead, I'm immune to bleeding, right? What I don't like is... So I know you're saying this icon, but I don't know what this icon means. Does that mean bleeding, maybe? Because it's red? I can't, uh... Click on more stuff. 
<clears throat> I don't know if you are undead. Best check your units. I think it means physical, but it could be bleeding. Oh. Need to see more units and damage types. Okay, let's close this out. Let's click on my people. Hmm. Let's see what my melee does. Oh, it must mean physical. Because this guy has it too. <clears throat> physical damage is blocked by shields. Um... Where are my immunities? Like, would it be on here too? Because it's... It's not saying I'm immune to bleeding, if that's the case. <clears throat> Defense reduces physical damage. I mean, they look like they're undead. They got that pale face and the white hair. I would mouse over everything. Resistance. How do I combat bleed? No, they're not very strong. Let's see our tier two. <clears throat> Sundering curse. Inflict weakened. Okay. Oh my gosh, it stacks up to five times. I think your cold blooded trait is part of the race. I think, yeah, I think so too. Fast recuperation. Regenerate an additional five hit points per world map turn. <coughs> Unleashes a magical bolt at target enemy. Weaken 90%, base 90% chance. <clears throat> of inflicting weakened for three turns. So your units lose morale slower and heal quicker. Yep. I like it. Undead really shouldn't lose morale anyway. Like, even this 50%, I think it should be like... Like 100%, right? <clears throat> It is. Blue Ankh is resists for non-physical damage. But I don't say anything about bleeds. The Warlock would punish units with low resists. And the physical guy would punish units with low shields. Driven by hunger, Necrom brings death to everyone and anyone impartially. He prefers to rule cities of undead, freed from disturbing qualities like free thought and disobedience. Control your emotions, for Necron is attracted to suffering. The bleed may just be a thing that doesn't get mitigated? That would suck, unless you have some trait like bleed resist. <clears throat> They find their strength in fast population growth and overwhelming numbers. Sounds like undead. What is dark? Unique city structures granting knowledge and extra income from prisons and crypts. have to make prisons and crypts. Prolific Swarmer said you get plus one rank on tier ones. Oh my gosh, you read that? Start with an extra tier one unit. Tier one units have plus one rank. Oh, this guy was not a Prolific Swarmer. Which means they maybe get to level up a little more than normal tier one from other units. If you keep your units alive in this game, they level up. Okay. <clears throat> 
Let me just read this one again. He's not a prolific... Wait, where did I see prolific swarmer? Oh, from here? Cruel deathbringers? Can you mouse over the line where it looks like experience would be? Here? Right under the tier. Recruit gold up deep here. This thing? This doesn't do anything. On the soldier? Over here? <clears throat> A bronze medal? Okay, this means something to you. Require for next rank. Okay, so he gets four health per level. Each unit can be checked. Okay, let's check this person out. Higher tier units tend to get abilities. He gets more health per rank. Yeah, I don't know what those medals mean. Just an extra ability or something? <clears throat> Elite, his damage goes up. And at Legend, he turns into an Evoker. I'm guessing that's a upgraded caster. Yeah. Let's look at me! Let's look at me! What's happening with my, with my girl here? Look how awesome she looks. Looks so good. Um, every level is health. Your hero has evoker, doesn't she? Or not? I mean, I don't know. How come it doesn't tell me what she will get for her levels? Oh, because it's probably like a whole, like more complicated, right? <clears throat> Lulas will level up and it's like AOW3 if it's like it. She will get skill points. Okay. Resurgence. And you will purchase your skills. You choose. Okay. Um. Alright, we're just gonna go to battle. Reading is great, but uh, <clears throat> we just wanna... Battle. <clears throat> so, can I put her in my thing for when I fight this? I don't know exactly how to combine them. I thought maybe if I just... I know they ran out of movement points, but uh, I was hoping... Alright, let's just end our turn because we want to see what happens here. Opponents are moving. Dun dun dun! Independents are moving. Okay. Claims on this province. Wait, what? Build outpost? Oh, wait, I can build? Wait. How, how did I get that? How did I get that screen? Highlights all possible outpost founding locations? View which armies would aid this army in battle if it was attacked. Um, confirm movement? Um, 
Where's that screen that said to build an outpost? Hold on here. City? Army? City? No. I don't know what any of this means. I want to know how to build a freaking outpost now. Where's that queue that we saw? Wow. Um <clears throat> Okay. I'm going to guess it's going to figure itself right. out. Let's uh yes, Army's merged. Oh, here it is. Build outpost. Farm can be built here thanks to a province feature. You can annex the province via a nearby city that has grown in population. A quarry can be built here thanks uh, I don't know what that means. Are these rocks to quarry? Is this because I'm on here? I feel like I want to build where this thing is. Let's go on top of here again. <laughs> Okay, now how do I get that build outpost when annex? Okay, so let me annex. How do I annex something? Uh Armies. How can I build on top of the resource? Oh. See, how do I get this screen? I'm going to tinker around. Okay, if I just click on her again. Okay, and then I clicked again. Build outpost. Structure claiming a province for its owner and forming the foundation for a new city. Um, cannot establish an outpost adjacent to an already existing outpost or city. But don't I want to annex it? Uh, I don't understand, I guess. Sounds like outposts are cities to be. But how do I claim this 10 extra gold? And that's too close to an existing city? But... Does that mean, like, the enemy's gonna get it? Because I want it. It's shiny. I want it. Iron deposit? I want this too. Oh, my city has to grow. Okay. Okay. Got you. Eventually you'll have it. Okay. Well. Let's just, uh... We'll end our turn because we want to... Now that we picked up and figured something out, let's go. Enemies cannot take it too close to your city for them to snatch it. Alrighty, enemies are moving. I see where they're moving. This. You have gathered a large amount of Imperium. I have? This represents the influence you have over the world. You can use it to acquire new cities, unlock new Empire skills, <clears throat> or speed up city growth. Imperium is mainly gained by building parts of your wizard tower in your throne city or by annexing ancient wonders. Mm. Is this Imperium? This is the Whoa. Empire Development Tree. What is this? Here you will specialize your empire towards certain play styles. Increase your empire's affinity to open more options. 
This research is available to rulers with the dark culture. They specialize in inflicting negative status effects and subterfuge. I like it. What is this one? General research. Special. <coughs> Specialize in magic that protects your units from damage. I like that too. Right? This tree looks pretty cool. I agree. I'm guessing... Okay, so I have 80. Cost of founding a new city is 200. Maybe I should always have 200 in the bank. If gave her some food. Okay, sounds good. This is the Empire Development Tree. Here you will specialize your empire towards certain playstyles. Increase your empire's affinity to open more options. Learn about each empire skill by hovering over it. What are empire skills? Are these empire skills? Gain 50 knowledge per level of heroes defeated in combat. Okay, hold on. What does this do, first of all? Income per turn plus two chaos affinity. Feeding an infestation grants you a unit based on the infestation defeated. I don't know what this means. Minus 30% unit upkeep sounds good, though. I bet you there's all sorts of build guides for this kind of stuff. But we're not going to follow any build guide. We're just going to... We're just going to play... Play it how we want to play it. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. Um... Magic origin. Unit upkeep is reduced by 20%. I think... Minus upkeep is always good, right? Locking and shuffling skill research skills cost 50% less. Um, I feel like that's not as important. Spells cannot be cast on the first turn of combat. Okay, so that kind of tells me something. I guess spells are usually not cast on the first turn of combat. Instantly gain a thousand mana? Is this a one time thing? Where are these other ones? Orders of Fin. Does this mean I can't even put any into here because they're grayed out? Or if I have more. For the income, I'll get six per turn. I am never going to get any of this, it looks like. Turn plus zero. Zero. Okay, hold on. Let me see this. Plus two, plus two, plus two. We're going to get plus six here. So these, I guess because they are like mutually exclusive or something, right? This is just general though. Unlocks the ability for units to embark and use vessels to cross the water. And for flying and floating units to travel over water. I mean, that's probably important. Unlocks ability for units to excavate earthen terrain in the underground. Okay. All right. You will progress toward unlocking your next empire skill every turn, depending on your affinity values. Once unlocked, you can spend Imperium to obtain the empire skill. Unlike research, the Empire skills provide more passive bonuses and activate immediately upon selection. Select an Empire skill. Like, talking about just click on it? Or actually click on one of these? Mm, hold on. Gain 50 knowledge per level of heroes defeated in combat. We'll click on one of them. 
Defeating an infestation grants you a unit based on the infestation defeated. Infestation sounds like if I kill like insects, maybe? Not quite sure what that means. Gain 20 combat casting points. Okay, hold on. Unlocks the ability for units and bar. I feel like this is important, right? Because if we ever come across water, the reason why I say this is because in Spellforce Conquest of EO, I recruited a hero, but since they weren't undead, they couldn't cross the water, so they were trapped. So I feel like unlocking this might be important. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what this infestation means. Let's look at the second one. I guess we can go towards it. Free cities with the whispering stone assigned instantly provide you with vision range. I kind of like that. I always like vision. Free cities or vassals with a whispering stone assigned you grant plus grant you plus ten knowledge. Hmm. Like this path might be good. Whenever a new research skills resource, the knowledge cost of another random skill is reduced by twenty percent. Twenty five percent. I feel like this is good, but I also kind of like this. Hmm. Hold on. Was there water anywhere nearby? And do they mean like large body of water? Oh, so I see. I can't even. Is there a bridge here that they can cross here? I guess they can just traverse rivers. Oh. Okay, how did I get to that screen? That was not it. I don't even remember how I got to that screen. I don't remember how I got to that screen. Wait. For research cycle. Oh, this this thing, Imperium. Okay. To cross the water and for flying and floating units to travel over water. Hmm. Maybe this isn't as important for me because I thought for my custom realm. I don't think there's many bodies of water. Let's worry about this for when I actually have to cross over water. I'm gonna go for this. Mostly because it says shadow. I don't know what this plus 20... Combat casting points. Why is it so hard? I don't think the that first little enemy has a hero in it, so I don't feel like that's important. Uh, let's try this. Wait, oh. Select an empire skill. Interesting. Is this not an empire skill? They mean this?
<clears throat> Choosing a tone will alter your affinity, which represents your attunement to specific cosmic forces. It can also be altered by picking a signature skill for your ruler. You will require a large amount of specific affinity to unlock higher tiers of tones. I don't really understand what's going on. So I can't actually increase anything. I thought maybe this screen I can put some points in. I have 80 Imperium. I don't know. Let's just worry about that next time, I guess. Hmm. Should we do our first battle? It's a safe battle. Does that mean my attack power is 399 versus their 200? Like, how is that considered pretty safe? Oh, what's this? I'm getting squirreled. That looks like food to me. <laughs> um. Also... Population. Turn. In one turn, I'll get 78 of 108. Is that what that means? I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it though yet. Okay, we just want to battle. Let's, let's save, even though I did nothing. We're gonna save. And, um, let's go. You're about to enter combat. I am. Inspect all participants and their combined strength before deciding if you want to fight manually or have your army automatically fight the battle. If you use auto combat, the fight will be simulated and you will be able to replay the battle yourself if you don't like the results. Um, we'll probably do manual combat because I want to see how to fight with these people. Um, so we looked at them already. They all do melee damage, physical. I don't like that they bleed though. Uh, it's fine. Okay. So where's that? Oh, I have to do this again? We're gonna do manual combat. Let's see what my girl can do. I love her pose over there. I should have taken a screenshot. That was really awesome. Welcome to the field of battle. Okay. Here, you must kill or rout your foes in order to claim victory. Her voice reminds me of, like in Dota, the announcer lady talks. Okay, the defending army always takes the first turn, followed by the attacking army. Okay. So did they go yet? Next turn? What is this? What do these mean? I'm guessing the crown means hero? Ranged? Is a caster? So, did they go just by moving? Okay, I don't know. We're just gonna move up, though. What can my girl do? I you forgot already. A unit. It has I have. Three action points okay. to spend on moving and using abilities. Different abilities have different action point costs, and some trigger once per action point available. Using an ability will almost always end a unit's turn. As you plan movement, you can see the number of action points you will have available at your destination. Okay. Well, we probably want melee to go up front. We'll have them actually. This is a shock unit. Okay. A what does that mean? Melee fighter specializing in high damage charges. Okay. 
Its attacks can cancel defense mode, which makes it strong against shield units and support units. Okay. What does this mean, next unit? You have selected your ruler. Your ruler is a powerful combatant who can wield magical equipment and learn a variety of skills. Okay. This is a scout unit, which is weak and best kept out of battle. If forced to fight, its high speed and ranged attacks make it a good unit for flanking. Sounds right. This is a ranged unit, which- Yeah, we already know about that. This is a battle mage unit, which excels at dealing magical damage and applying status effects. It is vulnerable to melee attacks and should be kept in the back line. Okay, yep. We kind of know all this, right? <clears throat> Alright, so let's move him up. This is what I want to do, right? What if I move here? Charge attack. Rotate. Rotate the unit to change the direction it is facing? What? Oh, I can choose. Okay. I guess... I guess they have... I guess it matters if you're facing the enemy or not. I guess for... Blanking attacks and stuff. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to see that. What about this? This unit ends its turn and goes into a defensive mode. The unit extends its zone of control to all adjacent hexes, gains two defense, Immune to flanking. Yes. He's gonna... Is there such thing as a walling? Like, is there a bonus? I can't tell. Um... Yeah, we'll just come here. Yeah. I wish I could see if they have <clears throat> bonus for uh, standing next to each other. Maybe if I right click? Attacking units we weaken grants the unit regeneration once per turn. Hey, I have an ability that weakens them, right? Okay, that's pretty good then. Um ch charge attack. Full arm unit. Okay, uh unless I'm not seeing it, I don't see a bonus for uh, standing next to your allies. Okay. They're gonna stand in the back here. Probably can't reach them, right? What's the range on this sucker? Does that mean eight damage? Out of range. Mm -hmm. How does how do I know what the range is? Is are is it those little parentheses? Is that like three hexes? Guess we'll find out once I play more. Four range, you can- Oh, hey, Eternal Frost. You can tell by the white outline when you hover over them. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be- Oh! I'm too busy trying to read that I'm not, like, looking at the visuals. Does it say somewhere on here, though? Like, when I'm- 
Or you can look at their card too. How do I look at their card? This thing? Okay. The four with the little arrow next to it is the range, I guess. Got you. Thank you. I'm trying to like absorb everything. <laughs> Are you playing this? Are you playing this game too? I take it. I don't know if I want to put her up front here, but I'm doing it. Yeah, and you watch people play too. Okay, good. You, you'll know what you're doing. I haven't played. Have you found that playing the previous ones help? I have not played any of them. Oh gosh, I hope they don't decide to flank. I'll put them here. They are arranged. That's also four, so I feel like... Let's just put them in defense mode. A little, yes. This game is a bit different, too. Different in a good way, I hope. I'm scared they might flank, so we're gonna keep them out of harm's way. Okay. I don't know. We're gonna see if this, this is good. Yeah, it's less micromanagey, if that makes sense. Yes, it does. So, I'm guessing better at the auto combat? Oh man, they're not coming up towards me. A turn took a long time on AOW Planetfall. Oh, okay. And can turn the tide of battle when used properly. Spells are unavailable in the first turn of combat and require mana. Oh, that's what they're saying. So the first turn you have to like move or something. Um, and require mana and combat casting points to use. Okay. Let's see. Now are they in range? Let's see. Uh Oh my gosh. I guess they're a little bit smarter. Because you have to adjust your population into food or science or into production to min-max your turn. All that way above my head. Of my pay grade there. They took that out. Because it was probably too micromanaging. People didn't like it. So they took your guys' feedback. Um, okay, so we have to move up a little bit, it looks like. Oh, I should charge at them, right? Wait, charge is only one range, though? Okay, so I can't charge them. But added complexity by adding tomes and other cool things. Yes, there's a really cool screen. I don't know if I can get to it here, but that... I don't know what it was called. Was it the tome? There were three tomes, three books on one thing, and then it looked like a map. Almost like a build guide. I'm not guide. I like a build. You can customize your build. That looked really cool. I'm looking forward to that. I tried to put a point in there, but it wouldn't let me. So I'm guessing I need to be a little bit more powerful. Um, Imperium screen. Yes, yes, yes. I thought that looked really cool. I know nothing about the game, but it looked really cool. <laughs> Up to three hexes. So, how come this says one arrow, which I thought means one range, but it says up to three hexes? You need to wait for your magic affinity to build up. To use the Imperium screen? Is that why I couldn't put points into it? I thought since it said Imperium screen, I would just need Imperium because I had like 80, but it wouldn't let me use it. So, okay, I guess what you're saying is I need magic affinity. It adds damage for each hex you move towards a target. But, so is this saying that I can, because I don't see a white border. Wait, can I click on it and then it'll show me? No. One, two, three. So... Is the one range just saying 
because it's a melee attack it has to be just one hex away you need imperium to buy things on that screen but you need the affinity to unlock them oh okay right i understand okay i'm just let me try to understand i know it's a melee attack and it sounds like the further i travel i do more damage so i can travel up to three hexes so one two three and then i can hit this right now i'm gonna i'm gonna guess that's right I uh, so can I hit this? Let's hit this. I want to hit this, but I don't want to stand there. And you can get affinity for every tome you unlock and for your starting race picks. I have to stand there. Once you are in melee, you are pinned. Um, fine. I guess it's better here because if I stand here, they can flank me. I'm just gonna try it. Let's just try it. So maybe worth letting that. That's my usual strategy, but part of me wants to take advantage of this uh, charge strike. I'm usually not an offensive player, honestly. But I really want to try this out. I'm going to try this out. I'm going to do it. This is for science, guys. I, I, this is my first battle. I'm just going to do it. Your unit is within an enemy's zone of control. When a unit moves into an enemy's zone of control, it becomes temporarily pinned and cannot move for the rest of the turn. Okay. Moving out of a zone can trigger opportunity attacks. Sounds normal. Uh, while an enemy, while in an enemy zone of control, many range and magical abilities will be unavailable. That seems normal too, standard, right? Those shock unit guys cancel retaliation strikes. Um, I want to try to remember what retaliation strikes. It's not the opportunity costs, right? Opportunity attacks. Retaliation strikes are when you hit them, then they hit you back, right? The rule applies to all units except the spearmen, which you get later on. <coughs> gotcha. This is only my second kind of 4X game. I know this is a pure 4X game. The only other game that I played similar to this is Spellforce Conquest of EO. Which is kind of similar, I guess. That was the first game that they had retaliation strikes. I'm like, why is it using up my action points? But, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're going to try this again. Oh, see, I did this wrong. If I had, if I hit this one with this guy, then I could probably hit this one with this guy. Um, We're going to just do charge strike. I can't hit this one. That's fine. Because next turn, I can probably flank. And if I pin them in... Then they can't, these back guys can't hit me and they don't have range. Oh, which game? Uh, Spellforce Conquest of EO. You also take a retaliation when you move away to. That's the attack of opportunity you're talking about, right? Or is that in addition? Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, we're going to come up to here. This unit has a ranged ability selected. Ranged abilities have an accuracy rating, which is the chance that the ability will hit the intended target. I like that they show it really big and bright. Spell Force Conquest is like this, yes. That was such a fun game for me. That was like my first uh, foray into these strategy games. It was so much fun. I have such, I have such good uh i mean i just recently played it but good memories of it so yeah i'm hoping this game will give me same vibes did you play heroes of might and magic nope 
But ever since I started playing Spellforce Consequence of You, people have brought up uh, Heroes of Might and Magic. And while I was playing Spellforce, they brought up this, well, not this game, but AOW 3. And I'm sure the other AOWs, I just haven't played them. That game is very much like this. Yeah, I feel like I missed out on a whole, a whole bunch of games. Okay, this one, did, did we see, is this only one unit or is it AOE? I think it's just one unit. Except it is 2D for the most part. I mean, I'm liking the look of this so far. I also like, I usually play, I like to play like undead characters. So I was really happy that they have it on. Do you see how cool my girl looks, by the way? By the way, I didn't say hello. Sorry for that. No problem. Hello to you too. Welcome. Do you see how cool my girl looks? I spent a lot of a long time on this girl. Oh, you, oh, duh. Yeah, you can't see her. Here, I'll move my thing. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm playing without you guys seeing how cool she looks. There you go. Where, how do I, uh... She does look awesome! And she looks even better! Can I look at her, uh... How do I... Look at this! She looks like a proper ruler, right? Yeah, let's just admire her for a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, she looks cool. Okay. I think she looks so good. I know, right? I'm already so in love with her, for real. I spent so much time on her looks. It was important. I was feeling a little bit guilty because I was spending so much time, but my efforts paid off. Like a pre-made ruler. The pre-made looks so dope. I didn't check out the pre-made rulers. I just went into... Uh... That's the joy of this game, right? Oh, I'm so glad you guys agree too. Like I said, I was feeling a little bit guilty, but okay. I'm glad, uh, glad you guys understand. <laughs> All right, we're going to weaken some stuff. Let's weaken this thing, right? It's right here. Like I said, automatically highlights that type of stuff, right? Let's weaken it. I have a tactical question, though. So I charged with the shock units because it said the more, the more tiles I moved, the more damage. So would the play would have been move the ranged first, move the warlock first to weaken this and then charge at the guys? Because I feel like if I move the shock units right next to them, I'm going to miss out on the... Oh, but is it calculating on that turn? Like, does it make a difference whether I, use, whether I move them first and then do the charge? I don't know. There's, there's one called Sanguine, the Atoner. I don't think you can play as her unless you download a mod. Oh, there's mods for this already. She looks like a creepy doll halfling. That sounds really cool. There was one when I was uh, flipping through the body types. I thought it looked, I said cute and I was like, oh, that might not be the right description, but it did remind me of a creepy doll. Like she had, she was short and she was, yeah. So I was gonna pick her, but then I made this girl and I was like, yeah, we liking this girl. Where? I feel like I read a novel about Annabelle. Is Annabelle from something else? Cause it, I feel like that was an obscure novel that I, a horror novel that I read. To answer the question, it is better to use range first if you min max. See, that's what I was thinking, right? Move my range to hit, the, to weaken it first and then charge at it, right? Yeah, I just thought of that afterwards. Yeah, forgot about it. That's fine. That's for min-maxing. We're just we're just trying this out. It's my first battle, very first battle. Mm. I'm guessing if they have to come through here, they're gonna have to take a attack of opportunity by this guy. So I am not gonna move her all the way up. 
we'll just move her like right here because when firing over your dude's head it lowers accuracy oh i didn't know that and you can hit your own people too Ooh, i hate friendly fire but okay good to know if you fumble so does it matter i'm just noticing this right now Ooh, i can zone, zoom in she's not facing straight is this gonna lower her accurate although it says 100 percent i'm gonna assume that it doesn't affect her uh ability to hit we're gonna do magic bolts what is this over channel allows you to cast an additional spell this turn once per battle okay she turns when you select a target okay okay the only reason i asked that is because i thought i saw was it with the overcharge you can rotate and it looked like you can pick which way which direction to face but okay wait did i cast a uh, weakness i did okay yeah let's do it Oh, I wanted to zoom in on that. I felt like it was going to look good. Your spells are in your rules portrait, by the way. You usually get one per turn. Your spells are in your ruler portrait, by the way. Oh! Okay. So she could have did ice shackles or something i didn't have to do this one magic bolts okay target enemy unit and one other you can still do this wait why can i still do this i already used my turn didn't i right click to cast i don't understand though Like, why is this allowed? This doesn't count as your rules turn, ruler's turn? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, were that... For, okay, so these are for the ruler, so like... Like, I'm a minion of whoever the ruler is. All races can do this? Okay. So this is just what she can do. And then this thing is what my whole overarching... So the ruler can do. Okay. You are the ruler. This is like a faction thing. Well, it's a good thing you told me. Thank you. Because I was like, I was just going to go. Like, move on. I did not know about this. Wait, hold on. Let me let me count this here. If I move here, this looks like it's range is four. One, two, three, four. Okay, it looks like she can still hit. Or they can still hit, I should say. 70%. I don't like how I spread out on my damage. Hmm. I mean, I want to hit something for 70%, but... I don't want them to get hit. This would be the safest spot, but they're only going to be able to hit for 30%. It is also a repeating attack. The arrows. Oh. So each attack 
is like 70 or 50 or 30 percent um most attacks are repeating so the more ap you have oh okay i see what you're saying so after i move however many ap i have that's how many times it'll shoot got you mm. i mean they made a point to say that i should keep my scouts safe So you have to weigh the pros and cons of moving versus attacking. Got you. So if I don't move, I can have all three AP to go towards attacks. But if I move first, then it's going to lower the amount of times I can attack. All these little, little nuances, you know? <sighs> don't like this. Excuse me. Alright, this is taking me way too long. You get flank attacks which do more damage and also accuracy is better the closer you are to the target. Oh, is this percentage because of my proximity or is it because like you said I have to shoot over the over my people? <coughs> I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna go over here. I like that 70% chance. <clears throat> Proximity and your people are close. So double whammy there. Oh, wow. Hold on. Weakened was resisted. I didn't even realize her attacks could weaken. <clears throat> okay. second oh my throat's getting worse guys i might have to call it soon my face is getting flushed too this is dang cold it won't leave me <clears throat> it's been it's been hampering uh my gaming time they weaken on all attacks are you playing dark culture yes because my goal is to become <clears throat> I guess I didn't have to be dark, but I wanted to be undead. And by default, in almost every game, undead have to be evil or dark. <clears throat> we hate cold. Exactly. Thank you. Yes. <clears throat> and cold, like, they linger. Okay, I'm just going to... I know you didn't ask for it, but this is all a result of from I think COVID. It likes me. Oh, thank you for the follow. Eternal Frost. I got COVID like over a year ago, year and a half ago. And it went into my lungs. I had uh, pneumonia and it just wreaked havoc. So for like six months, I'm coughing. This is all residual of that. And they said I had, doctors say I have scarring and it's most likely going to be permanent. So whenever, so he said, the pulmonologist said, I'm not more susceptible to catching something, but when I do, it's going to be worse than it normally is. So here's the result of that. <clears throat> That's awful. Thank you. But yeah, it just sucks. But that's why the stream might have to be a little bit short. But yeah, I'm trying to. Uh, I want to play, you know, so I got to weigh it. I'm going to have to. Sh my voice is going to have to struggle and my throat's going to have to struggle. But I get to have some fun game time. Totally fine. All right, let's continue this battle. <clears throat> um, so I think everybody went, right? Is there a quick way to see if everybody went? I mean, I think everybody went. On the right. Okay, I'm gonna have to check again where it says end turn. Oh, okay, because if it's not... If I can't end the turn, it'll... Uh, like, if I had more action points, it would not say end turn. <clears throat> I feel like my people are dying. How do I... 
Oh gosh. Okay, hold on. We're gonna have. What is this? Always hits. <clears throat> Six range. <clears throat> You're telling me this does 24 damage? What the hell was I doing this one for then? This only does eight damage. Ninety percent chance of weekend. Oh. <clears throat> oh, I see. In the top right of this little tooltip. Okay. Oh, is that what that little, those little right parentheses look like it means? It's a repeating? No, that's not a repeating attack. I don't know. And the, oh, it is a repeating attack. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is making all, this is making a lot of sense. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> mm, well, we probably want to kill this one off. Actually, we probably want to kill one of these off because this troop is going to die. Yeah. Sundering Curse is a warlock's big attack. How many? He has... <clears throat> so he... <clears throat> Can I tell how many hit points he has? Turned into food and a shower. So how's it going? Dig in the combat? It's similar <coughs> to spell force, but it's different. <coughs> and Eternal Frost here has been giving me little tips here that's helping me out in understanding the combat rules and stuff. Left click the unit to see its hit points. Okay. Ah, okay. Excellent. 44, so his big attack is not gonna do it. Hmm. I think we gotta whittle this shit down though. We're gonna do it. Ooh! That looks cool. <clears throat> Does four not have a key to show all units hit points? Is there like a tab or a control feature? Alt? What does alt do? What does that do? Shift? Yeah, I'm trying to hit the... Is this, this is left control, not showing anything. Alt is just lighting up these extra... Texas for some reason. Shift. Tilde? Nope. Tab? No. <clears throat> As, it might be in the hotkeys. I can check that out later. Alright, we're gonna try to kill this one because this guy is gonna die otherwise. And he's freaking bleeding. You just left click a unit. I mean, that is easy too. I wish there was like a, like Sir Conus was saying, like just overview that so I can see everyone's hit points. <clears throat> it's not hard to left click it though. I can left click. I'm trying to calculate what I need to kill someone. Okay, so how much? Oh. We're gonna move them up. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm gonna do. Look through the bindings, key bindings. Um, we're gonna do this. <clears throat> we're gonna do this. Oh wait, 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 wait! I can do invulnerability of some to someone. Oh, I need to do this. Oh my gosh. So simple. You're ready to turn frost. I have the... Wait, I don't think there is a corpse yet. Oh, there is a corpse. Wait, is there a corpse? Looks like there's a corpse here, right? This unit has suffered casualties. <laughs> You're casualties telling me. occur when a unit takes damage, which also causes the unit to deal less damage with its attacks. I didn't know that. So the more hurt they are, they do less damage? Okay. 
I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I have invulnerability that I can put on him. And, um, uh, let's see. Can I use a corpse? Oh, is it because I have no action points? Because I already used him. Multiple figure units do less damage. Multiple token hits. Sorry. Some games, the multi-figure units keep full power till dead. Some base power X number of units. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. The multiple figure units do less damage. Um. So yeah, I don't... I feel like there must have been a corpse... It looks like there's corpses. Is it on here? Large units like dragons do full damage regardless how much damage they take. Makes sense. Say unit has four spiders in it and each hit for five damage. One spider dead, three left. Now they hit for... Okay. I think your troops are standing on them. Okay. I mean, I guess that's how I can tell, because when I hover over it... Yeah, let's do it. Wait, let's do this. Wait. It doesn't want me to. Hmm. Oh, you know, that's probably what it is. They're probably standing on it themselves. Oh, is this something? Can I do this? No, because when I click on it, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Um. Let's just kill this one then. Okay, I have to remember to put... I'm going to do it now. I'm going to put invulnerability on him. This dude. Okay, that didn't work. Hold on. Did it? No, right? Wait. Did it work? Is he invulnerable? I don't see that he's invulnerable. Right click? Okay, mark of invulnerability. Okay, and then right click. Okay, there we go. That looks, bleeding removed. Okay, invulnerable, good. So he's not gonna die. <clears throat> Gosh, it's so stressful. It looks like this unit already went. We gotta kill this one. Left click is cancel, which is weird. Hard to yes, I was trying to left click, I think. <laughs> Miss! Come on, guys. This is not what we want to hear. Uh... Can I do this? If I do this now, can I hit twice then? I would shoot the 90 to max the damage. That's true, because he's invulnerable. Do I have to click this now to do to go twice though, or if I go, can I still click it? <clears throat> Cause I want to go twice. That allows you to cast another faction spell. Try the over channel. Yeah, I want to try this. So when you say faction spell, you're talking about these, right? What is this one? try this yes we got him we got him okay let's do this onto here yes 
Yes! I didn't know spiders have morale. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Two hit points! A unit has low morale because the tide of battle is turning against it. Units with low morale might fumble attacks, while high morale can lead to critical attacks. Oh, that's why you said fumble. Fumble was an actual thing. I thought you were just using words. Look at my girl! Look how freaking cool she looks! Ah, oh, she looks so good. Looks so good. Um, yeah, we don't need to rewatch or retry. We won. We're good to go. Oh, gl a glorious victory, oh Archlich. You have been you have beaten an army in combat, rewarding you with loot and your surviving units with experience. The more experience you get, the stronger your armies become. Yes. Now that you have gotten a second scout, you will need more powerful armies to claim the valuable locations you may come across in the realm. Bear in mind, scouts are not meant for combat. So build your army wisely. Nice battle. Thank you. That was my first battle, guys. <clears throat> um Okay. Do you usually stack your stout stout scouting units or do you have like one go in one direction, one go in another direction? <clears throat> Solo riders or <clears throat> I wanna take her out of the Like, I'm wondering if I should group up both scouts. <clears throat> One going in different directions. I mean, it makes sense. But Sircona's brought up a good point, though, earlier. Like, they're very vulnerable, so... Do you still send them out? Scouts are trash mobs meant to unlock the map. Okay, let's have her explore then. Have you explore in this direction? They're weak but faster than all other units. <clears throat> but see, okay, so she stops here. This guy's gonna attack her, right? And she can't move anymore. They move further on the campaign and battle map. But isn't she screwed now? She's going to get hit by this guy. No, the black skulls don't move. Oh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, Make an army of six units. Uh, okay. Black skulls will move, black and white skulls never move after end turn. They are guards. <clears throat> Hold on. So when you say black skulls, so there's going to be another banner that has a black skull on it? I guess so, because red skulls can move after end turn. Okay. okay I got to write this stuff down. This is all good information. I have a trusty notebook <laughs> that I write stuff down. <clears throat> but today's day five twelve A O W four okay black white skulls never move red ones red skulls move after move after enter. <clears throat> Red skulls are infestation mobs. Oh, I read about that when I was in the Imperium thing. I was wondering about that. I was like, are they insects? I didn't know. <clears throat> okay, no, that's good to know. They don't move. 
because in spell force conquest of you they moved so i mean granted i could flee but they still would hurt me so um okay so let's see so there she's gonna go in that direction um okay i need to recruit someone what is this not what i want to know um what is this that's not what i want wait is that what i want to know Um, where's my recruit? How do I recruit? I forgot. That button in the bottom right always brings up spells. <clears throat> I'm evil. You need to click a city. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, what is this? Generate. Um. Man, I just, I love how she looks, and I love her pose too. She's like, yeah, you can try to come at me, but I'll cut you down. Um, let's see. Probably another melee, because my girl is a caster also. Let's get a... Is there a, is there a better one? My dark elf ruler has that pose. It's so fitting, right? It's very good. I like it. Um, okay, so I'm thinking another melee, right? That way they can form a line and then my ranged units. Well, I only have one warlock and then myself. It's a pose that screams everyone is me. Yes, exactly. Taconis called it arrogant asshole pose. <laughs> uh, ranged unit. I think I need... Hmm. Okay, so right now it looks like I can have a max of six, but okay, let's see. Yeah, I think melee. I think melee is good. I just don't like how this is a tier one though, although it looks like everything is tier one. Six per... <gasps> really? Forever? That is very different from a spell force. I could have... 10 in one army. Okay, okay. I gotta reset my expectations. Six per army. You can have armies follow each other to add their strength and comp. Oh, okay. Spell force, we couldn't do that. It was one army versus one army. So you're saying I could have two armies fight against one army? You can have up to three armies in combat? <gasps> Sounds like fun times. Sounds like fun times. Okay. All right. That changes things. Okay. I think I'm going to get another melee. Okay. We'll just do one at a time. Okay. Hmm. There's no healing, right? That is an Age of Wonders only feature. Ah, okay. Is there like a inn I can sleep at? Because this guy really needs some healing. I'm not understanding what this really means. I can't do anything. <clears throat> Put them inside your borders for extra healing per turn. And by border, you're talking about my city border? So now they will... 
does it show me how much more hit points I will heal per turn? Maybe if I right click on him. Five heals per turn outside or outside your border. Twenty five. Okay. And it looks like he has fast recuperation, so he's going to get 30. Nice! Okay. It doesn't tell you this anywhere. You mean like no, no friendly tip, but it's like game knowledge? Okay. So you just know this because you've played all the other Age of Wonders? See, I feel like I'm missing out on that aspect. I did find a, a Reddit post. That talked about like a TLDR of the lore, and I was gonna read that, but I didn't read that yet. But uh, I think I'm gonna read that tonight before I go to bed. Kind of catch up on the lore, I guess. Um, okay, so I think I'm just gonna end my turn because none of the scouts have movement points. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, let's do it. It always makes me uneasy seeing all this movement, but I can't see it. I see the words. You are ahead of people now. You have insider game knowledge. Stability measures. <laughs> yes, how happy thank the you. People in your cities are. Outside of dark cultures, which do not suffer from low stability penalties, you generally want to keep your stability high. So basically, are they saying since I'm a dark culture, I don't care about stability? Like, I can just do whatever I want and it's not going to impact me? Or do I still want my city to be stable? What does this mean? <clears throat> Produce a storehouse. Is this just like a event log? Yeah, cities don't impact from having low city morale or dark culture. Nice. One less thing to worry about. I like it. Um, okay, let's see my... Oh, yeah, he's pretty healed up. Okay, this red looks kind of ominous here. Does that mean... Does that mean something's going to spawn here? Other cultures have to watch this. Otherwise, I get penalties. So then, what's um, <coughs> what's the positive pro of not having to worry about some, like, am I forever gonna get like bad prices or you know, you know what I mean? Like, what is what's the drawback of not caring about stability? Because I I feel like that's the only good news, right? I don't have to worry about I don't have to worry about their happiness. Okay, this is infestation area. And does this mean the infestation won't cross this border? So I can stand like right here, just kind of keep watch on them and they won't cross? I think I want to scout a little bit more. You don't get the debuffs, I think. You still get the buffs for high stability though, if you want to care about it. Oh, okay. Or you can kill the spawner. <clears throat> Let's see how hard they are. NPC Army of Marauding Marauder Guard. Is this 209 their attack power compared to my 361? Yeah. Oh, what did it say? Low risk? Hold on. Other factions get other bonuses, but this is dark culture bonus. Army strength. Okay. It's a low risk battle. We like that, but learned a little trick, guys. You can click on them and then read what they can do. Oh, I'm gonna be fighting against dwarves. Spirit blast. He's a healer. Dark culture, find it hard to heal. That's typical for undead. 
Although in Spell Force Conquest of Vio, in the beginning it was kind of hard to heal the undead troops, but towards the end you, you ended up getting a healer, so it was fine. Other cultures get a healer unit. So Dark Culture don't get any healing unit? Like there's no special undead healer? Is it only corpse eating for healing? So this guy gotta die first because he's their healer. You have to get a healer unit from a Tome of Magic. Okay, so there at least there is an undead healer. Okay, that's that's all I need to know. That's good. I'm good. Sun Priest. Dawn Defender. I don't know. You dwarves think you can stand up to my uh, undead people? But you don't get one by default. So I have to find that Tome of Magic. Okay, another question then. Are these Tomes of Magic RNG? Or is it just as I progress in level, I can choose which Tome of Magic? Or do I have to find these Tomes someplace? Ten damage. Okay, at least they don't bleed. Sort of. Okay, sort of. Sort of RNG-ish. Aha, this is what I was talking about. I was wondering about units with this defense. Like in other games, I've heard it called walling. The tomes themselves, you get to pick. You can choose from them all. Okay, so anyone can choose any tomes. But you got to find the tomes? Is that what that meant by the shuffle thing? However, the spells in them, you can... And then you get to research our random. Okay, that part is a shuffle thing, I guess, then. So I gotta find first that tome, that specific tome, and then I gotta hope. Wait, wait, wait. You know, I can just choose the tome of magic, but I have to hope that the spell pops up when I wanna research it. I think that's what it is. You get a new tome after you research spells. I think every four spells you research, you get another tome. So I have to pick four spells? Hold on, I gotta see something. Was it control G? No, that's not it. Um, where is my spell book? It wasn't this. Uh, how do I get to that page that showed me all my spells? Oh, maybe it is Imperium. This stuff here? This thing? This thing. Show Tome Library. Okay. But to get to the next tome, I have to research four spells. So I'm researching one spell right now. So three more spells. Home of Necromancy. You have Tome of Warding at the moment. Okay, how do you know this? Like, I've seen it, but how do I... Oh, because there's a check mark. Okay. Just know you will get another Tome soon. Okay. But I guess what I'm asking, so I have to research, like I'm researching this right now, so I have to choose 
two more. Well, I have this one, it looks like. I'll have this one, so I have to choose two more from here. And then I can choose another tone. <gasps> or can I have multiple research for multiple tones at the same time? Something like that. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. Or research cycles. Being dark culture gives you spells to... I like that. I'm not sure why everybody doesn't pick dark culture. Four spells, then you need to learn. Okay. It says this, but then I was, I was wondering, like, does it have to be from this specific tome or can it be from any tome? I'm guessing it doesn't matter which all tomes. Okay, okay, okay. From all the tomes. I just have to research four spells. Okay. Actually, do I want to research more? I don't think lightning. Wait, I saw souls. That sounds more like an undead thing, right? High culture. Get special healing spells for being high, for instance. I mean, this sounds pretty good. A bone golem? Oh, this, these numbers? Do I have to learn an X number of tier one spells before I can learn tier two? You need two tier one spells to get tier two. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Two tier two tomes for, whoa, okay. At tier three, it changes. Have you beat this game already? I feel like you know a lot about this already. I mean, it's been out for a couple weeks, so, right? Weeks, maybe? This city has grown and gained a new population. It has? Each additional population enables you to expand oh, the numbers two. domain by placing a province improvement. Um, okay, that sounds good. Every province has different features which determine what type of improvement can be built in it. Click on the pin button to add the province to your city's domain and the right affinity for tier five. Oh, you need two tier three and the right affinity for tier four and the right affinity for tier five. Okay. Um. I feel like I want gold. Greedy dwarf in me wants gold. Let's say you want the tome of the demon king. You need 10 affinity in chaos. Yeah, I know a lot. I've played a lot and watched a lot. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here to help me. Yes, thank you for all your help. But I want to see if I understand this. So tome of demon king. I want to see this in action here. I understand what's happening. I'm guessing Tome of Demon King must be a high level. Okay, tier four. You need 10 affinity in chaos. Okay, so affinity was an Imperium, right? So you need 10 in here. Is each one two? Wait, this is not chaos, duh. You get affinity for tomes. I'm guessing it's one of these things. You pick a tome and that tome's affinity gives you plus two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
And are you saying I need 10 points into chaos? So Tomo Py Pyromancy is plus two to chaos. Do this in action again. Okay. I see. So if I learn this tome, it gives me two affinity in chaos. And you're saying for that demon king, you need 10 affinity in chaos. So if I had gotten tome of Pyrom pyromancy, does that automatically... Do I have to put points in myself or does it automatically just say, okay, you got tome of pyromancy, which is plus two. So it's just going to put two points into here. It does this itself. Okay, so I don't control this. I mean, not by clicking on here. Like, I thought I, I was like, oh, yeah, let me click on this. Okay. I got you. This will move depending on what I have. What tomes I have. <laughs> That's the token that shows you. Wow. This game. This game. Okay. Um... Place the province improvement. Do you gain affinity automatically as you go through the game? Got you. I like that I don't have to think extra. <laughs> um. Okay, let me see. Build a quarry. Mm. More food. I'm guessing food helps me grow. I think I like gold though, right? I don't know. The greedy dwarf in me wants gold, I think. Farms to start with is the meta to this game. Okay, good, good, good. Let's build a farm. Food helps you grow quicker. I'm gonna write this down too. Food first. Food to start. So I knew to do that because the advice advice lady told me that, but you built that farm on a gold vein gold vein, so you get the gold from that. I, that's what I like to hear. I like, I like efficiency. How do I know when I can build more provinces? Is that what she called it? Is that just something that will pop up in the game, like when I'm able to, or automatic plus ten gold? I like it. I like it a lot. Left click my city. Left click the city. Is it every time I get a population? City information. You want to build these improvements on tiles which already have improvement. What does that what does that mean? You want to build these improvements on tiles which already have improvement. Yes, you see the head on the left. This thing. <clears throat> that is, you have two population. Okay. Two out of 30. Below tells you the amount of turns to grow. This turn, two turns. Okay. 
So next population increased, I can do more provincey stuff or structures. Oh, what is this? Should I build another storehouse for more food? You can Im you can spend Imperium too to grow. <clears throat> Oh, these are structures I already have? Okay. I thought this was to upgrade or something. <laughs> okay. So I have one province. Structure that claims a province and expands. Click on them, delete them. Okay, I'm not clicking on them. That's scary. So if I just wanted to click to maybe learn something, it's going to delete it. That's not good. Expansion focus. Governor. Change city name. No, we're fine. We're fine with that. It'll wor warn you first. Don't worry. Okay. Whew. Already, because this game is like the left click versus right click is different from the other game, like some of the other games I play. So I'm like, oh, I don't want to click the wrong thing. Hold on. I, I am going to get a screenshot of that. Hold on. I want this girl. I want to see this girl. I want her to pose to, like with her arm. Yeah, like this. Why is my okay? There we go. She looks so good. She's so. I know, right? Oh, I'm so glad you think so too. I'm so happy with her. I'm so happy with her. This game has a lot of um customization for that my only complaint and i complained about it a lot while during the custom the creation i couldn't zoom in to see how she she like fully looked up close but i don't know i feel like you can't get any much any better than this so i feel like i did all the right choices um but uh i think i uh we did our first battle we upgraded our city i think we got a province it's amazing the amount of customization customization on this game, right? And I feel like they didn't have to do it. But they did it. And so I thought it was really cool. It's cool to see what people make. Exactly. <gasps> did I see a channel? No, I think I saw on Twitter. People to show off their hero with the hashtag AOW4Hero. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I get a full picture of her? Can I? How do I get this horse out of the way? I don't even care for this horse. I feel like it's detracting. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this. You're right. It is cool to see what people make. I'm gonna post mine someplace. We got this one. I want all possible. Where? Else, how else can I see a portrait of her? I don't know if I already. I think I. I'm just gonna make a photo album of my girl. <coughs> okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> I think that's enough. All right. I think we're gonna call it quits here tonight though. My throat, I'm like coughing more, so I, I know it's getting worse. But um, thank you so much, Eternal Frost, for giving me some fresh tips. Thank you, Circonus, for helping me pick out my character, make my character. And uh, thanks for anyone else who dropped by. Appreciate it. Thank you for the stream. You're welcome. Um, I usually don't. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I think I'm going to try to stream this tomorrow. It all depends on how my throat feels. But we'll try to do that. Usually I stream Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. I say usually because the last week and a half, two weeks... Uh, I didn't get much stream time in because of my my voice, my throat, this stupid cold. But um, hopefully next week we'll get to back to a regular schedule. But yeah, hope to see you again, Eternal Frost. Thank you for stopping by. Hope to see everyone else. Thank you for stopping by. Um, let's see, this is still not natural for me to say, but okay. I'm trying to segue into it. Remember, play the game. Don't let the game play you. Hope you get better soon. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys.
Um, okay, hold on. <laughs> like, forget everything. Play the game, don't let the game play you. And heart, heart, bye. Bye, guys.